Well, before the break, we got the 411 on this year's Chefs for Habitat, a celebration that brings together some of the best area chefs. And we have one of them right here. This <laughs> here is Jeremiah Burns from the Mad Hatter Cafe, joining us on Del Marble Life this afternoon. Thanks for coming in. You're welcome. Wonderful to have you here. Yeah, we'll yeah. And um, thank you for playing the guesstimation game. Yeah. The guesstimation. So long story short, um, we did it a, as you know, we did a live earlier. I saved a little bit of the pesto, mm -hmm. and I'm going to allow you the opportunity to get $100 from me if you can guess the right ingredient that I added inside of there. If we can guess the secret ingredient. I'm going to give you 100 bucks today. Seriously. Let's and this is, this is what's going to be happening at the, the Chef's, Chef's for Habitat. Habitat. Exactly. The Mad Hatter Cafe will be doing a, a more holistic and healthy approach. We'll be doing vegan options and vegetarian mm -hmm. options for the people who don't want to dig into the carnivorous side of things. Mm -hmm. Because obviously there's going to be steaks and chickens mm -hmm. and shrimps for the pescatarians, but what about the people that don't do any of that? Okay. And I feel like healthy eating has risen 600% in the last two years. It's time that we started addressing it on the shore. Yeah. And we have way too many farmers here to yeah. not utilize to not, Sure, to not sure. Okay. okay, so we, we're going to taste this. You, you have some crackers here. By all here. means. Uh, I could grab your cracker if you'd like me to, or you could grab it yourself. I, I, I think there we could you do go. that. Thank you, Jimmy. And do we get as many tastes as we want to figure uh, it out? I mean, you can if, if you'd enjoy. Okay. You really enjoy the Chef for Habitat thing, don't you? I really do. This Point. is um, This is a few years in. We've raised quite a bit of money. Um, I love the ability to give people a culinary creation mm -hmm. as well as raising the awareness and actively giving back to your community because Habitat does a lot. And I feel like this is one of those opportunities for people to dress up as well as address the situations that we have going on right. and how people are actively trying to go after making everything in this community a better environment for ourselves as a whole. So you're doing and a good thing and having fun while you're at it. This is what dreams are made of. Now, what is this pesto made of? What is this pesto made out of? I don't know. We're all lost in here. There's some, oh, I do taste something. Can you taste it? Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm gonna I double check. So what do we do? We write it on this uh, whiteboard here? By all here? means, write it on the board. For those that missed the library this afternoon, what, what did this go with? So I did a blackened mahi right. with a pesto polish, mm -hmm. and then I did a fried cabbage. And it's yes, the burn pump. game is for real, so mm. hence the last name. Mm. <laughs> Swing for the fences, Johnny. Mm. <laughs> Go for it. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you yeah. taste it, it will come. Actually, you're never going to guess this, but. Oh, well, do you really? even have $100? You think so, huh? <laughs> I promise I do. <laughs> he probably didn't bother with $100, knowing that we would never, thinking the spelling <laughs> that we count? would never get there. Nope, spelling doesn't Good. count at all. I'll give you all of that. You can write it in Creole, Spanish, English, hieroglyphics. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spell it wrong. I'm just telling you right now. Don't judge. <laughs> okay. This is a judge-free zone. All I right. like how you put that down with oh. authority, though. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to go too. with your answer first. Yeah, because yeah, he's, yep. he's sure about Let's it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm pretty, pretty confident in this one. I think I, I know exactly I what have, it is. I have to be honest. I'm normally the man in the suit, so I feel underdressed <laughs> right now. But okay. it's fine. Go ahead. All right, you what do you got? You ready to tell me this is right? I don't even have to look at it. No, it's not right. It's not cayenne. That's what you put. Mm. Although I do put cayenne a lot, including my eggs in the morning. And I know that one's spelled There's right no it. cayenne inside of it. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's so cute that you guys thought it. So for the people who do know me, it's I rocking. do like a lot of hot heat mm -hmm. inside of my seat. Every single beat. My daughter puts hot sauce and jalapenos in our eggs. However, what I did do is I replaced the Parmesan cheese with the nutritional yeast. So nutritional yeast is not only vegan friendly, it's gluten free friendly, okay. it's keto friendly, it's under 30 cows. So we extracted the cheese and mm -hmm. put something with B, B12, B complex, protein, all, yeah, write it down. Get, go for it. But you're on camera, by the way. Oh. Yeah. We can't push rewind. Can, can, we, can we push it? Just worry about it. close yeah. up on him. I was talking trash all day. I don't, I don't, I don't believe you, so I got to eat some more. Just yeah, go okay, for it. I want to taste so that. So literally, we, we took the cheese out of the situation and then replaced it with something healthy. This is like your grandmother. Oh, fantastic. Giving you something. Like, it's like when they bring medicine in a Flintstone. Tell us real quick again where you're going to be doing this. We're going to be doing this at the Civic Center. And... This February is February 26th. 22nd, Chefs for Habitat. If you haven't got any tickets yet, please do. It's an amazing experience. A multitude of information, connections, handshakes, and again, above and beyond, chefs showing you 
their niche. Good time, good Thank cause. Thank you so much, Jeremiah. Yes, indeed.